Hi, you're with Lucy, and today I'm going to show you this very quick beginner's watercolour rainbow coloured hair. I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. So I've drawn my hair onto my paper. It's A3. I've got the picture as a download on my website. There'll be a link in the description so you can have a look there. Before you go any further, make sure that you subscribe to my page and there'll be lots more colouring fun things to do. So we're going to do this as a kind of a rough watercolour. So I'm going to use some colours that I think will go nicely and I'm going to go with some yellows and I'm just getting the colours ready on my palette. I squeeze as much of the paint out of my brush as I can before I wash it and I like to have two tubs of water so that I can have the right amount of paint and I can wash my brush out. Also going to use some magenta. Getting some magenta ready. Now these are quite creamy because I'm going to um, add some water to this as well and I'm also going to use some ultramarine blue. So pretty much we're using our primaries here and this is going to be a bit of splashing paint around. Now if you want to do this remember you can just get the download from my website. Okay, so you'll see that I have water, once for washing my brush and once for when I need to have clean water. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to wet some of this hair on his body, just on his body at the moment. Not too much, I'm not going to up his face yet. And even though I've actually elongated him a little bit because I wanted him to look taller and more majestic. So I've elongated him. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is look at my colours and I'm going to look at the dark areas and I'm going to like drop some of this pink in on, the, on his back and see how it's beautifully bleeding. What we want to do is get some colours bleeding in this paint and kind of let paint do its own thing so and this this works best if I wet it first and you get that lovely fuzzy kind of look so I'm looking at areas at the moment where I think it could be a little bit darker and then I'm going to drop the blue over the top and let that bleed this is not going to be a regular colored hair going to be very much abstract colors and you can see how we get this beautiful purple happening by letting the colors do their own thing. And I'm going to take some of this yellow because in the brighter areas I'm going to drop some yellow. Now I'm being mindful when I put the yellow down that I don't want to get brown so I'm just dropping the yellow in. I'm not brushing it around. I can see he has a little bit of that yellow there. And you have to be really careful that you are not tempted to extra brush and get kind of things happening where you're getting bleeding and um, you know because yellow, pink and blue will make brown. So we're trying not to get brown, but we still want to get shape to him. Sort of seeing that there's a bit of yellow here. And kind of I think it's lighter towards the back of his leg to a bit of red coming through. Leave some little bits. Don't try to cover everything. Throw my brush away, making up a bit. Just while it's still wet, you do need to work pretty fast because if you go too slow, your paper will dry 
and you don't get the lovely bleeding of under his chin. And I can just see in the front of his leg here, darker, and then it has that sort of like change in direction here. Very carefully putting yellow in wherever there's blue to be seen. To give it a little bit of texture, I'm also now going to just get my brush, a little bit of water on it, little texture dots. I want him to be a bit fun, a bit textural. Even come around the edge. And just Perfect. Liking how that's turning out. I'll just put a little bit of blue down here. Sometimes it's nice to do things in colours that aren't regular. See, there's a dark area down the front of his leg. And even though these are not the right colours, they're a bit fun, don't you think? This leg in. I'm doing this one darker. I want it to end up dark, so what I'm going to do is drop some pink straight in. Now I'm going to also grab some of this paint and do some splatters. You can do quite big splatters. I'm doing it before the face so that I can wipe the ones off that I don't want. Get a green. Doesn't matter if you get some splatters on his body, it's quite nice. But what a lot of fun the colours uh, we have in him are at the moment. Okay, so let's look at his ears. So his ears, I'm going to, I'm going to wet his ears slightly. So not too wet. You can see those drops are already there, but that doesn't matter. This is a good way to play with blending and get used to how watercolours work without worrying about what colours you're Now I'm trying to not get too much water in his eyes because we're going to cover. Okay, so now I'm going to take my pink, stronger, and drop that pink. I want to keep some nice white areas in his ears, but I do also want to get that pink colour and this darkness coming down here. On the side of his face. So I'm kind of looking where the colour is. Obviously I'm not going to do just pink. So I get pink in. Let's make a new bit of blue because that just beautiful how it just gets that lovely, lovely blend. And because I want to get that yellow in again to give that yellow brightness around these edges where I can see light in his ear, I'm going to drop the yellow in and you'll see I'm just dropping it in. I'm really being very, very careful not to brush it and contaminate. Just bursting. I get very excited about colour and um, playing with colour. And this is definitely colour play at its best. 
Put a little bit too much in. Out. Putting my arm in it as well. So that's that's kind of how I want it to be at this stage. I'm going to put a bit of this yellow here and just finish his foot off. So I'm going to dry this off now and we're going to have a little bit more play. Now that, that has bled out a little bit over here. I'm just going to clean it off. Just a little bit. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to do some splashing in. Just very forgiving. Okay, I'm going to dry this off and then I'm going to do the next section. Okay, so once that's dry, what I'm going to use now is indigo. So I'm going to take some indigo, which is a really nice dark bluey colour, and I'm going to do some detail with indigo. So I'm making this quite creamy. I want it to be quite dark. And I'm going to put in areas where I want to see some, so that's probably a little bit too dark. Now, especially in his ears, we just want to get that really nice shape here in his ears. Top of his ears, he's got that little dark area. So this is when you start to put the detail in. So don't try to do detail at the other layers. We, it was way too early for detail. And see here, I can drop that color and it starts to have a bit more shape to it. A little bit of that line of indigo. And I can, I'm just going to use my brush to give a little bit of shape. Got this kind of fuzziness, especially around his eye here. And some little dots. So you can see there that little bit of indigo just put in just where the dark areas are lends itself to giving you detail but I'm not being overly detailed it's really important that we're really kind of light with the detail Leave that for the moment. And we need to put his toes in. And I'm just going to darken this area here to make it a little bit more to the some little. here being very careful that we're not covering all the beautiful we're just putting some of this down give that a little bit of see that the shape so basically what I'm always doing and I say this to all my classes is I'm looking at picture and I'm seeing where the darks are where the lights are Sometimes making it up a little bit, but now I've got, gone a little bit over there, so I'm just going to enhance it. If you make a mistake, think about ways that you can kind of fix that mistake. Yeah. 
see here by glazing this indigo, we're getting the lovely shape. But we've still got all the beautiful bits coming through. Now here's very, very rough, very, very quick. I'm going to now take my pen. So this is just a uni pin, uni liner, and I'm going to draw his eye in. And that one there doesn't need to be quite as good as this one here. So this one here, I've just got to put a bit of thought into some highlights in it. So great. The eyelashes. Yeah, he's nice. And I'm also going to detail on the nose. Here's my pen. Give that a little bit of a furry look. Now, the whiskers are really big. So make sure you do some terrific size whiskers. Okay. What I'm going to do is pretty much outline in the roughest possible way, just so that I have a definite shape. So, see that it's really dark there, so I'm just scribbling some dark edges to his ears. see how that the lines finish it off beautifully just want to make his legs belly I do know they have tails but in this picture we can't see his tail so I'm not going to get too worried about that Okay, now under here I have a sun sort of shape drawn. And I've got all my lovely splashes in there. I've got my sun shape. Now I'm going to leave that white and I'm going to do a little bit more just light colouring inside so I'm just going to take all I want to do is bring something probably I don't want to make it a moon sky let's try Something happening in the back. So if I if I did it really dark, he would blend in a little bit. But what I want to do is kind of just almost just give us a hint that something's happening. Now dropping bits of blue in. It's not dark at all. I'm going to take it down to here. Now you do need to work reasonably quick when you're doing this. I don't want to put too much of anything else in though because it's quite bright already. Now I'm turning it upside down because I find it very hard to work at to do a circle from the other angle. So I'm just turning him upside down. See here, it's very light.
that sun moon is going to just stand out with all those dots in it and we're going to throw a few more dots in it in a minute yes don't don't try to make it even make it blotchy i'm gonna throw a few more So this is super easy to make. Okay, super, super easy. And now I am gonna take a little bit of that indigo again. While that that is um still wet, to kind of create some hills. Just to seat him in something so that he's not just out in the open. Some green. The green really will make it. So I'm just putting some green here it's in ground, seated in too. And while I'm doing the green, I'll just take some drops of drop in that and some more yellow drops too into this. Don't worry where you get it now. All good. Just want lots of stuff happening. Dark it and go. Shadow area. You can even darken that back leg ever so slightly with the same indigo. This white. And then I'm going to just put. Just going to bleed. I don't want them to look too real. So, letting them bleed like that gives them a sense of distance. Don't put any other colours in, it's kind of not any more colour. Little bit more, a couple of these. So, this side's starting to dry, so I'm just going to give it a bit more. So, if it starts to dry where you want to put a couple of trees and you do want them to bleed in, just make sure. And I'm going to dry him again. And then I'm going to take my gouache and a little bit here. I'm going to take some of the gouache just to dampen my brush a, a little bit and put some of it on the ground. Now it will bleed in with the other colours, but that's all right. And the last thing I'm going to do is just put a bit of water in my gouache. Too thin. 
two some butters wash just to put some bright spots and a little highlight in his eye even put some little tips of white on his face. And then I just have a little look at him. I think he could have these cheeks brightened a bit more so that they have a little bit more shape. This is where you can then go through and go, where do I think I need to and I can just glaze some colour in. I really like the yellow, especially on areas where I think he's going to have some moon reflection. And I'm happy. I'm just going to put some lines in here. There's lines everywhere else, so we're just going to put underneath him. Like I said, I think he probably needs a tail, but there we go. We have our rainbow coloured hair. I hope you enjoyed that and give it a go. It's just a really easy beginner's style thing to do. And it's just a bit of fun playing. You're with Lucy. If you like my videos, please make sure you subscribe and give it a go. This is really just a beginner's little project, but I thought you might like it. I finished the hair putting a little bit darker green in the grass when I when it dried I thought it really needed it and and just a few little darker areas I hope you enjoyed doing this and make sure you subscribe thanks very much you're with Lucy from Archet Angel bye